So uh, uh, I thought I'd show this. This is a um, chip here that's been erased. I don't know if I can zoom in on this. Maybe you can see it. There we go. So that little um, see-through glass thing there, you can actually see the chip itself. Nope. A little too much there. But yeah, you can see the actual chip itself in there. And you expose that to ultraviolet, and it erases the chip. So this is for the CAT 300 DXL controller. And uh, I have a universal EEPROM programmer in here. And I just slap it in there. And then go over to my... Uh, uh, I have a copy of the... Whoops, we got to take it out because the program doesn't like that. Let's see. Okay. It's going to do its thing. I have uh, had version 1.04 on here. Let me put it in here. And I'll see if I can show this um, over here, possibly. Sometimes this will work, sometimes it won't. So this is the program here, if you can see that. Um, and I have uh, the buffer here, the code loaded, you can see. So I'm just going to go here, and I have it set to do a uh, ID check, a blank check. It's going to make certain it's blank, write, and then verify it. So um, it's loaded in there, and I'll just click OK. It'll do its thing there. And that's it, writing the code. Writing takes a little bit longer. Let me move over here, I'll show you the chip. And you can see the um, VCC's on, and that it's uh, programming as well. That's normally not on if it's not doing anything. And it's about 50%. Again, it's uh, very slow to write uh, 120 kilobytes of, uh, or kilobits, now 120 kilobytes of data to uh, an EEPROM. But uh, this, is, uh, this is what's needed. What's nice is they used one that you could rewrite to. Uh, most people use a one-time programmable one that uh, you can't erase it using UV because it doesn't have the light. Um, you can actually bombard them with x-rays and then put them in an oven and reheat them and do a whole bunch of stuff if you want to do that. So, Anyways, it's done. It's verified. Um, took, about, uh, took about a minute or so, but that's all that's there. And then I have this little that I'll put on it next just to cover up that window. And that'll be the uh, upgrade for the, uh, the TARC uh, CAT300 DXL controller. I know I'm not a fan of controllers because I like using uh, app RPT, but uh, yeah, it's what they want to do. Whatever, it's not uh, not my call to make. So, anyways, that's how you write a uh, EEPROM for a uh, uh, repeater controller when you have an EEPROM programmer. These little programmers are great. Um, they're fairly inexpensive to get into this. They have sockets pretty cheaply too, um, but you know some of the sockets can get to be as much as this programmer because they're they're very customized. So. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, this is uh, Brian Fields, Amateur Radio Call Sign, W9CR.